Today we've uh, held the first of our ever of direct drilling days where we invited uh, 16 different drills to come and drill winter wheat in an oilseed rape stubble mainly uh, that had been not cultivated. The reason that we decided to put this day together was that we're, we are focusing on soil health and we're also uh, fully aware that the farmer today is under a huge pressure um, to farm both in a sustainable and also financially sustainable way. By looking at direct drilling, it's a, a good way of uh, maintaining yield and at the same time improving your soil health uh, by the fact that you're not tilling it and destroying the, your microorganisms that are in the soil and killing the worms which are so important in the, uh, part of biodiversity. From a financial point of view, why should you even consider direct drilling? Well, there's a, a lot of positives to direct drilling. Uh, the first thing is, of course, that you will straight away reduce the amount of fuel you use per hectare to get your crop established. And this can be as much as some people will be using 40, 45 litres per hectare just to get the crop in the ground. And by moving to no-till, uh, or direct drilling, uh, you may well be able to reduce your fuel usage for the establishment of that crop to somewhere around the 10 litre or below mark. And of course this has the immediate effect of not uh, only saving you a considerable amount of money per hectare, but it also immediately reduces your carbon footprint. If no-till is managed correctly, your yields will remain the same and they may well even increase. So when you look at it, you actually end up with a win-win situation. Not only are you achieving at least the yield you used to have or a little bit more, but you're also doing it at a lot lower cost. You can measure the, the effect you're having on soil health by looking at your soil organic matter. Now, soil organic matter takes many years to build up, but it is well worth doing as it's a direct uh, indicator of how healthy your soil is, as are the number of worms uh, that you can find in your soil as well. You've got to remember that if you increase in that top 30 centimetres of soil, your soil organic matter by 1% or if your soil organic carbon by 0.58%, that's going to give you the equivalent holding capacity of an extra 35 millimetres of rainfall. Now, the cost of moving to no-till, obviously it's not cheap. Uh, the most high-tech machines are somewhere in the probably a quarter of a million euros. So we have to think of ways of uh, financing that uh, capital investment. And one of the ways in which eAgronom e can help is that we have a carbon program and okay it doesn't you'll not make a fortune out of it but it does uh, provide maybe 20 30 euros per hectare on an average basis which can all go towards the capital investment required to change to no-till and on top of that you are improving your soil health which again it's a long-term investment but it's well worth doing other ways of uh, you can benefit from uh, improving your soil health is to use one of the bank schemes, the green loans, uh, where you can uh, get subsidised credit uh, just for farming in a regenerative and sustainable way.